I'm here to give you a little warm up for the very first session um, before we start tackling the advanced cello repertoire for the virtual Benedetti sessions. So actually, I don't know why I'm holding my cello right now because I want you to warm up physically, like basically like a sportsman, an athlete. That's what we're limbering up. And it's really important before we start doing any work on the instrument itself that we warm up all the different parts of our body. Um, because essentially we need to be as fit as possible and, and all and like blood running to all the extremities so that we're not cold and stiff. Um, so um, what I'd like you to do is um, just get onto your feet, make sure there's nothing too far around you. So give yourself some space. Um, and first of all, I'd, uh, right now you can't see the floor because um, I'm, it's, yeah, it's not in the, in the visuals. But I'm thinking, I'd like you to think about the ground underneath your feet. I've always, I always talk about circles, so that sense of circles. So we're going to start with, and maybe I'm going to have to lift my leg up, but we're going to show you my slippers. Uh, circles with the feet, the ankles. So nice round circles. And the other way, and hop across. Same on this one and the other way. And then moving up to the sort of hip area, I'd like you to make a big circle with your bottom. So just as, wide, as without moving your feet and without falling over, just making as big, uh, so you're just loosening off all your hip joints and your waist. Oh, that feels good. Yeah haven't moved that for a while and then we're just gonna like move it up to the shoulders and get these big muscles moving shoulders I find it quite nice to have the sense if you just touch hold your shoulders and you're gonna take off just make big circles make big circles and then the other way around just get those every single muscle getting some oxygen to the muscles it feels great and then maybe flap your arms a bit, open out. We're gonna do tiny little circles this way forward, reaching up through the sky and then back. That feels nice too. Oh, that does feel good. And actually I'm just gonna reach up just cause it makes me feel good and just reach a little bit over, just reach to the top left part of your room and then up across to the other like that reaching up, see if you can get your fingers as far as possible. Now the thing is, when we're gonna sit down our instruments, we're gonna be sitting like this and everything's gonna be coming forward. It's really important, I think, to do the opposite in your preparation. And sometimes while you're playing as well, just doing the opposite motion. Same for if you're sitting at a computer even, you're doing this, you're facing down this way. It's important to do the opposite. Just if you've been doing it for a while, like anything, just do the opposite. So, just open up all these fingers. There's five points. You've got one, two, three, four, five. You're making a big five star. Uh, and it's the same with your hands. So just stretch out those fingers, those five points, like into different areas. And then also just make the circles with those wrists. Oh, that feels good too. And the other way around. And again, if you'd be, you're thinking about doing this, maybe also think about the opposite motion. Sometimes if you go up against a wall, you can just press your hand up against a wall and just turn around and do it against the wall. That is all also a very good way of just stretching out those muscles. Very, very good. And then this one is also a lovely one. Make a circle, just clasp your hands like this and then make a, a big round ball. Try and make use all the space to make a circle, a big round globe. And then there's just the neck, which is get, can get quite stiff. Now it's really important with the neck to move everything super slow. So I'm just gonna ask you to like breathe out when you go down, very slow. And breathe in and then out when you go back, straight up. And again, down. In and then, and then in, up, and then a little very slow circle. Oh my goodness. Don't push it too far for this one. 
Okay. Oh, that feels good. Just very, very slowly. One. And in and out. Oh, and then shake it all off. All five points. Um, it's also, I, I think it's good to get everything, like move the blood going. So I'm just going to do a little quick um, uh, warm up that get just to get your um, aerobic sense up. So we're going to tap your head. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Knees. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next is four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, a one, two, a one, two, a one. One, 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 one. Okay, so I have to say I'm certainly feeling a bit warmer now. Um, warmed up. So grabbing the instruments. Um, so just to sit down and getting ready to play. I know I'm, I'm just going to um, make sure that we have our feet nicely centred underneath your hips. Uh, you're, the chair's just behind you and you're just going to gently go down. No leaning back in your seat, no leaning forward, just nicely propped up, all stacked. So your feet are grounded, knees above your feet, um, your shoulders are above your hips and your neck is nice and long and that you have a string coming out of your head. So you're nicely stacked and upright. Um, and everything's nicely warmed, lots of space all around your instrument. Um, just make sure that you can hug, give your instrument a little hug. So that's, it should be absolutely inside um, like a huggy body. It's very nice. So now open out. So let's just get the bow warmed up. And um, there's a lovely little exercise that a friend of mine, Pekka Kuzisto, does. He's absolutely brilliant. Do look him up and he does this lovely exercise of the windscreen wiper. So you just get the bow in the right hand, just nicely resting. Um, no need to actually grab the bow. It's just a very relaxed bow hold. Like you can just, just float your arm, just shake it out and then lower your shoulder, just rest it on there. So very gentle hold, soft fingers, nicely rounded, thumbs nice and soft. And what we're going to do is we're just going to, well, make sure nobody is in the way to your right or to your left. And we're just going to flip it like that. See, I don't do much with my arm. Just flip it. The whole wrist flips. We're just going to do that. It's quite fun. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's almost like a windmill because the hair... When the air goes through the hair, it makes this whooshing sound. I love it. Okay, so if you have any pain at all, it's important that you just stop uh, and make sure you just have, take the bow out of um, your hand and just shake it out, give it a rest, and then give it maybe 30 seconds, even longer. If it starts to hurt again, you can always come back another day, but this is a good exercise just to get that warmed up. Once you've done that and you feel like you've got control over the bow and it's just going straight up and down over in a windscreen motion, then the next one, like it's just the fingers, okay? So no no wrist at all. It's going to be a smaller motion. So you go up, just that, just the fingers. So you can even like hold the wrist in place and it's just the fingers that move up and down and it only goes say for if it's a clock nine o'clock to eleven o'clock that's really how it feels nine to eleven and then even then you can just try a little bit maybe forward and back sometimes it's nice to just using your fingers not the wrist itself you can write your name my name's Sua S U A 
and you can write yours is probably much longer but that's a nice little warm-up just to make sure that you've got a nice loose bow, bow hold um, and it's got a good swing to it and you have control okay and let's just get the left hand settled in and the left hand um, is the sen same sense of having lots of nice relaxed weight and to put the fingers down I'd like you not to think of uh, a two-way motion it's not thumb and fi finger coming down to press together you're just going to rest the whole hand above the fingerboard and bring it down to gradually like put all the weight in the, in one finger all the other fingers remain loose thumb remains loose like keep a nice rounded soft thumb and you can even just wobble a bit on the on the finger itself that's down nice and firm nicely rounded and not collapse don't collapse your finger and don't no funny wrist shapes you don't want anything so when you bring it down you just bring the whole thing down as one and then until it really feels like it's nice there's no extra kinks there's just a nice straight line and then from there you just move from the first finger to the second checking that the thumb is nice and loose and soft but the second finger is now taking all the weight of your arm and then switching over to the third so you transfer gently the weight pass it over like a baton in a in a relay race and then fourth finger transferring the weight over that finger alone all the other fingers are nice and loose and soft thumb is soft and back so in some ways it's almost like a little vibrato exercise too but you don't have to think about that uh, in yet it's just just getting the weight down on that one finger because essentially once you get this motion where your fingers are going down by weight as opposed to um, pressure and pincering then you get a lot more flexibility so that's how we're just going to start the, our very first warm-up thank you for joining me